Great. Um, thanks very much, Felix, for inviting me to talk tonight. Um, I'm David Jones. I'm the CTO of iPushPull, and we're a live data sharing and workflow automation platform. Um, we're a generic platform that plugs into a lot of different applications and services, uh, including Excel. Um, most of our customers are in the capital markets, um, but it is a generic platform. We've got people in uh, manufacturing, healthcare, um, and various different um, companies who've just come across our site and signed up to it. Because we we've got a cloud service, um, which you can sign up to, um, and we also can deploy on-prem for the more fussy um, capital markets customers. So I've got a few slides to go through that my CEO told me I had to do, um, but then we'll go into a demo after, after that. So typically the kind of problem that we are solving is this kind of spreadsheet overload. So it's scenarios where people are um, either having to share spreadsheet between teams um, or inside teams or with clients, um, customers via email, via file sharing and so on. Um, and also where people need to share real-time data um, between teams and across organizations. Um, it causes problems with version control, um, access control, um, there's no real-time data support, and um, it's not audited. So this is what we do to try and solve the problem. We um, eliminate file sharing. Um, we let people share data in real time into the applications they want to use. Um, and ultimately, by building um, workflow features like notifications and buttons on top of your data, turning your data into an application in effect, then it lets you automate high touch workflows. And we do this by, um, with this kind of plug and play service. So we have a range of add ins and integrations that plug into desktop apps, uh, chat platforms, cloud services, and so on. Some of them we develop ourselves, some of them our partners have developed. Um, it gives a kind of unified approach to data sharing, this kind of standardized access control, audit and monitoring, um, and, um, um, and also we have a workflow builder that lets you build, build tools on top of the data. The main benefits really are allowing you to take data, turn it into an application, and distribute it without having to build the pipeline and the, plugging, uh, the, the plumbing yourself. This is the kind of experience that you can get with the platform. So we give you a kind of consistent view of data across all the integrations that we have. Um, so you can see the data, whether it starts off in Excel or comes in through an API or comes from a database. Um, you can see it on web apps, uh, built into chat, um, into desktop, uh, desktop interoperability platforms like OpenFin and ChartIQ. Uh, and in each case, the integrations try to build on this, the, they try to be sort of best of breed kind of integration. We try and use the features that the platforms um, that we're plugging into um, really let us use. So for example, in our chat platforms, we integrate with notifications. We let you push and pull data into the chat. In desktop interop, you can build buttons on top of your data, which you can use to click to launch another application. So for example, launch a chart based on a ticker, um, launch a news feed, that kind of thing. We've got a whole range of integrations at the moment. This is, the kind of, this is what we currently support um, from desktop apps like Excel, various chats, Symfony, Slack, and Teams. Um, we've got a suite of APIs and SDKs and a whole load of different integrations. And different customers use us in different ways. So for example, um, one of our customers is ICAP, a uh, big interdealer broker. They push data in through our API, um, and then their bank, uh, bank, bank clients consume it into Excel or pull it through an API into their own pricing models. Um, NatWest Markets is another customer. They push data in from Excel and through the API, and they push it out into Symfony Chat to share it with their, their counterparties. Um, and then we also have a few kind of more high-touch workflows around RFQs, um, you know, businesses going, putting, um, um, asking uh, their bank counterparties to quote on, um, on prices for products. So I'll show you a few demos, um, starting off with some basic data sharing, um, then looking about how you can distribute data into different applications, and then diving into some of our chat integrations. 
So I'll show you, first of all, our Excel add-in and our web app. So on the left-hand side is um, Excel with the iPushPull toolbar. And this lets you basically push data into the platform and pull data back down from it. Um, you can push it as sort of a snapshots, or you can push it in real time every time it ticks. Once it's in the platform, you can apply access controls to it, so you can give people read-only, read-write, even very granular access control right down to the individual cell level. And then you can also control what applications people can see it in. So um, on the left-hand side, we've got Excel. On the right-hand side, this is our main uh, web app. And this lets you organize the data that you're sharing in the platform into a kind of a set of folders and pages. So down here, I've got my set of folders. And then inside each folder, I've got a set of pages. And these pages can be um, individual grids of data. Some of them can be static data. Uh, some of them can be real-time um, ticking data. Each one of these pages can be individually access controlled. So almost a bit like Dropbox, you can invite somebody to a folder. Uh, you can grant them different levels of access within the folder. And then you can control right down to the individual page level um, where they've got no access, read only, or read write access. And the kind of flip side of this access control is that you can also audit and monitor who's been doing stuff inside the folder. So you can see who's looked at a page of data, who's updated it, and it gives you a really kind of granular access control and audit. So what happens if I want to send some data into the platform? So the Excel add-in, um, the ribbon lets you do kind of manual pushes and pulls, and it's got a couple of wizard functions that let you automatically enter some of our in-cell functions. So here, if I've got this, um, here I've got this, in this sheet, I've got a range of data, which is, there's a macro generating some dummy FX options prices. And if I want to share that into the platform, I can click to push, and I'm going to choose a live push. I've selected my range already. I'm going to push it to this Euro USD short page, and it's going to be a live push. This is automatically going to insert my in cell function. And then as soon as that starts, as soon as that's been pushed, it's pushing that range of data, so just the data you want to send from your, um, from your spreadsheet into, into the platform. And so this is going, it's not just happening on the desktop, this is being pushed up to the cloud and then being, um, you know, the, the, the web app is subscribing to it. You can also pull that down into Excel again. So I'll just, I've just um, hit download. This has created a, a template page, which has got two tabs on it. Um, so the first tab is a, just a sort of plain snapshot of the data. Um, the second tab is a real-time subscription to the data. So you can see if I can organize this all in one screen. And you can see that it's updating across all the different applications. So if I make a change here, if I type hello, then it updates across everything that's subscribing to it. And so this could be being used um, you know, to share with an individual team. So the kind of use cases we have are um, ICAP pushing real-time rates, options, prices out through our API. Um, we have a bank trading desk where they've got some structured products, which are um, the, the pricing is being generated in a sheet. Um, they're pushing out to the desk so everybody can subscribe to it rather than people, everyone having to run their own version of the model. And then to show you the, some of the other integrations and the kind of experience you get in here. Down in this um, left-hand side, this is Symphony Chat. So you can view your real-time data alongside the chat without context switching. And then this is um, FinSomble, um, OpenFin, oh, so, sorry, FinSomble, not OpenFin. Um, FinSomble, which is a desktop interop platform, and that lets you... Um, as well as being able to view your data in there, then you can, as I say, build buttons on top of it to trigger events in other applications using kind of FTC3 interop. 
So that's an example of how you can share data across different applications and with different people. Um, what I'll do now is show you a couple of, um, of our chat integrations in a little bit more depth. So one of our customers, um, they have to, it's a sort of a sell-side bank, the, the buy size that they deal with um, ask them to send uh, real-time data into the chat, well, not real-time data, snapshots of data into the chat, um, FX data, and it could be like once per hour. At busy times, it needs to be more frequently than that. So instead of taking the trade, having to like copy and paste the data into the chat, you can also use us to push data into the chat each time it updates. So here, I've got um, an Excel sheet here. And every time this data updates, if I make a change to that price, then you can see it's getting pushed into Symfony alongside this. So there we go. And as well as pushing that data into the chat in a sort of visual way, um, copying the sort of the styling and formatting, there's actually a data object. That's a, this is a Symfony structured object um, sitting underneath this. So you can drive a workflow off that because you can build bots that interact with that data and can do something quite sophisticated. Um, this also works inside Slack, um, not quite as attractively. It's, um, it's kind of, I think it's quite nice looking in a sort of retro way. But if we make another price change here, for example, then every time it updates, it, um, um, it pushes it into Slack as well. So as well as being able to trigger this data being pushed into, the, um, into chat platforms, We've got a bot framework that lets you pull it in. So you can, if you've got some data sitting in a spreadsheet or sitting in a database, um, you can expose it to people um, and they can query it um, automatically um, using the bot rather than having to send a spreadsheet out for people to, um, to open up and um, look at. And finally, I will just show you an example of a kind of more sophisticated workflow. So this is an example of how you can use um, one of our bots to interact with, to build like a workflow between um, a chat platform and Excel. So this is something we're implementing for one of our sell side clients. If I can get this to, sorry, one of our buy side clients, I mean. Um, and they have got an RFQ workflow which they, ah, um, oh dear me, so excuse me while I um, get Windows to cooperate with me. Sorry, Microsoft. Maybe I'll just do it side by side. So essentially, when they want their counterparties to Know, deliver prices for their products. They've got a workflow that currently lives inside Bloomberg, inside um, you know, email and voice. Um, it's very inefficient. A lot of the work um, that they, a lot of the, they spend a lot of time actually sort of keeping track of things in notebooks, um, in spreadsheets, manually, manually updating stuff. Um, since MIFID II um, regulations were introduced, uh, they have to do kind of best X reporting, and so they have to consolidate. Uh, all the events that occur in the workflow, in the workflow um, uh, into a single place. So it's pulling that kind of information across from lots of different sources. They're moving the whole thing into, um, into the Symphony and iPush pull environment. And so they send out a product that they want their clients to quote on, and their products and their clients come back and quote for it um, using our, a chat bot. And so in this case, our chat bot is called IPPRFQ. Uh, I'm going to send a level back for this particular instrument, which is called Asset Swap 345. Um, I'm pretending to be Citibank, and I say I'm going to pay 100K for this. And it's going to be an in, let's do a subject to contract price. So, they put that chat message into the platform, into, into the chat, 
um, our bot framework interprets it and pushes it into iPush pool, and then they can consume the data either inside Excel or in any one of our other integrations. Um, if they want to update the price, then they can do something like this. Let's do that. We'll do level ASW345. We'll change the price to 90K. City pays 90K firm. And so now the whole workflow has been brought inside the iPushPool platform. You can use multiple different um, applications to, uh, to, 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 to operate on the workflow. Um, but because it's got consistent access to control, consistent audit and monitoring, then it meets all their requirements and it streamlines, the, um, streamlines what was once a very complex workflow. So that's a very kind of brief run through some of the more Excel focused um, parts of iPush Pool. I mean, we started off in Excel. It was, um, the platform was built to do real time aggregation of risk and PL for a prop trading firm. Since then, we've expanded out into a, a whole wide range of different integrations and applications. Um, so we're going to be uh, around afterwards if anyone wants to talk to us. A couple of my colleagues is here as well. Um, if you'd like to try the platform, you can go to our website and sign up. Um, and so you can use our cloud service and download some of our integrations. So hopefully that's given you a few ideas of what we do and hopefully something you can, some ideas of what you could use the platform for. Thanks very much.